Hey friends, welcome back to my channel once again. Chaka Khan stands on her belief that Mary J. Blig did not rightfully cover her song Sweet Thing in 1992. The original R&B soulful song was brought onto the scene in 1973 when Chaka Khan was a part of the music group Ruffles. A few years later, Blig decided to add her own version to her debut album What's the 4-1. The two legendary divas began beefing shortly after due to rumors that suggested Chaka Khan labeled her colleague's cover as the song Mary G. Blig. They eventually mended their relationship in 2007 and even collaborated together on the song Disrespectful. Though they are on better terms now, the Queen of Funk confirmed that the rumor was actually true while talking to Andrew Goldman on his The Originals podcast for Los Angeles magazine. During the 2947 mark she said I didn't say that out in public I might have said that to her when asked why she believed that Blake didn't do her beloved ballad justice Khan admitted that the 52 year old's vocals were flat I asked her I said what time did you when did you what time of day was it or night what were you doing when you decided to cover sweet things where were you at when you covered it she then imitated blake's answer oh girl i been up all late and it was 8 o'clock in the morning girl she continued if you would have been up all night smoking crack or something i don't know might have been different a whole different thing but you don't get up at 8 o'clock in the morning to sing girl before the switch topics khan stated that she and blake have a solid relationship where they can be blunt with one another Towards the end of the podcast, Khan was informed that she was placed at number twenty-nine on Rolling Stone's list of two hundred great singers of all time, and was asked how she felt about Blake's number twenty-five placement. These are blind as mother; they need hearing aids. So that's all for now. Subscribe for more.